Well, hello, hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. This is Diane Covington calling from beautiful and sunny, gorgeous weather up in Northern California. You know, I was looking over some notes the other day because I was trying to figure out what do I want to share on Wednesday. And I was looking over my notes from our leadership conference, director's leadership conference, and I was just blown away at some of the things that have come from COVID. A lot of bad things have happened. A lot of people have died, and there's just been a lot of you know, a lot of a lot of negative things. A lot of people have lost their jobs. But I wanted to just for a minute focus on what great things have happened. Have you possibly stepped outside your comfort zone a little bit? Did you maybe finally set up a Facebook page? I did. I have to admit I didn't have I didn't have a private VIP customer page a year ago. Actually that's not true. It was a year ago it was a year ago March, like the month we went COVID, I was kinda of freaked out from going out and I thought, Okay, well I'm sitting here, I might as well do something productive. Wasn't even sure how to create a Facebook private page. Learn how to do that. So have you set that up? If not, jot it down. Jot it down for something to do this month. Another great thing that's come out of this is many of us embraced virtual. Some of us learned how to use Zoom for the first time. Some of us learned how to go on Facebook for the first time. Some of us learned how to post on live. But I want to also talk to you specifically today about something, about sharing the core opportunity. And one of the things I want to talk to you guys is about having emotional management. Emotional management. Have you changed a lot during the pandemic? Or maybe you can ask yourself, how did I need to change? Am I focusing on what I can control, which like my routines, my attitudes, what time I get up, the, my thoughts, my words, my, you know, my, my beliefs, all of that you can control? Or are we focusing on they're not answering the phone, they're not calling me back, she's not texting me this, she can't, she's not buying are we focusing on what we can control or what we can't control? You know, friends love and accept us right where we are. And I want you to know that your director loves and accepts you right where you are. But we are also a mentor. So not only do we love and accept you where we are, but guess what we're going to do? We're going to encourage you. And we're going to encourage you to stretch, to grow, to be just a little bit of a greater version of yourself. So if you've done a one-on-one -on -one or you did a 30-second commercial on the charcoal mask live, holding it up with your hand and smeared all over your face, and you got off in 30 seconds, congratulations. That was a stretch for some of us. But if you're used to that, then maybe do a two-minute tutorial. Bump it up to two minutes. Or maybe get so brave that you start doing a posting a day live. But what else great things have come from this pandemic when it comes to team building? Well, what I will tell you is people are going to start realizing that there's a lot of security in being self-employed. There's a lot of camaraderie, and especially in the culture of Mary Kay Cosmetics. So I want you guys to know something that you can truly, truly make a difference. But I want you to envision something. How do you get someone to see something that they cannot see? How do you have someone standing out in a river of water and die of thirst? Because maybe they don't want to see it. Or maybe they need to have someone else believe in them so they can see it. Now, I know there have been times in my career where my national or my senior national believed in me, or maybe I thought Mary Kay believed in me, and I didn't want to give up because I knew others believed in me. And sometimes we have to go on the belief of somebody else, right? So I want you guys to just be thinking for a second. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of stats that this will probably blow your mind. <clears throat> but this is just what has happened in the last 12 months. So I believe it was from, uh, I think it was from like March... March 1 through maybe it was end of January, we got these stats. So anyway, there has been, um, from last year, a 62% increase in growth of team building. 62% increase. Now, why do you guys think that is? Well, people are home. People are looking for more flexibility. I would say freedom and flexibility is probably at the top of their list. They are realizing that self-care is important. They realize our 50% discount is insane. <laughs> they realize there's a lot of the culture. Okay, and then guess we have this 104% increase in the people who are coming in qualified. What does that mean? It's people who are coming in with a qualified $600 order, 104% more than the previous year. Why? Because honestly, I think the company now has samples and it's so easy to sell, like so easy that we just send a self-care sample pack in the mail. And the next thing you know, they're opening the packet up on Zoom or FaceTime or whatever the medium is that you're using. 
and we're it's amazing. And then the last stat I wanted to share with you is there's been a 25 increase in car earners, 25% increase in car earners just in the last 12 months. So what if instead of focusing on a specific person, what if we decided, you know, I'm going to share this with everybody. And maybe you share with them a couple different things. You might share with them, um, can I tell you what Fortune Magazine has has coined as the top five reasons women are starting a side hustle, and you can tell me if you can relate to these. Or you might say to her, you know what, I really think you'd be amazing at this. What would it take to get you to listen? And I use that with 100,000% sincerity in my voice. I would never say that to someone who I truly didn't believe would be amazing at this, or I truly didn't want to work with. But if I knew you, and let's say your name is Angela, I'd say, Angela, I know you might think I'm crazy when you hear this, but I really think you'd be amazing doing this. What would it take to get you to listen? And then just be sincere and then quiet. And she'll probably say, oh, Diane, I don't know. I'm not like you. or I'm not, that's what you hear a lot. I'm not like you or I don't know anybody or I'm not in sales or I don't have the time. <clears throat> and I, I just, I listen, and this is key, I listen and then I say, I totally hear that you're busy. I get that. But what would it take to get you to listen? So I'm going to acknowledge it and said, and you don't want to make her mad by going, oh, busy, oh my God, I'm busy too, because then it makes them defensive. So don't, don't, don't have this be a, a rooster, puff out your chest, my, you know, I'm bigger, badder, whatever. So when she says, I'm super busy, I just don't have the time to say, I totally hear you. I know you're busy. But what, it ta- what would it take to get you to listen? Not a lot of time. It's, it doesn't take a lot of time, but what would it take to get you to listen? So I will tell you guys, team building is up, and we have this little window of time where the company's got the e-start. I don't know how long they're going to keep it. They could can it any month they ever wanted to. But to start a business for $30, that's crazy. For the website and credit card processing, oh, my gosh. And then, oh, my gosh, if you're new and they get $25 off their kit, who would not get that amazing kit for $75? With all that product in there, they could immediately start on skincare. They'd immediately have satin hands. They can show on their virtual parties and wash their hands on camera. You guys, I will just tell you, the company is up right now team building because it's top of mind. I think people are looking. They want to belong. They want to get the discount. They want to make a difference. All of those things and so many, so many more. So it's really interesting because one of the things that they did ask in that survey when the staff shared those stats with us was they asked us, what does a win look like and what, excuse me, not what does a win look like. I apologize. I looked down at my notes in the wrong place. They asked us, why are we sharing the opportunity more? And they said, we're now sharing it more with friends than ever before. And I think before it was more like, who's my hostess, which is still good. We're still doing that. But I think what we want is we see our friends and our family struggling and we say, come be a part of this culture. We want you to be a part of this. So I want to thank you guys for calling in today. And I want you to know these words. And these are words from Mary Kay. Four very short words, but they always was something she could say. She would always say, you can do it. You can do it. If your goal is Red Jacket and you set that goal maybe a week ago or a month ago or last year, draw a line in the sand and say, you know what? I'm not going to keep putting this off. I'm going to. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a Red Jacket. If you know the statistical odds are one out of four, then find 12 women who you can say, hey, I think you'd be amazing at this, Dawn. What would it take to get you to listen? Now, if you've got inventory, offer her something free. I'd say, you know what, I'd love, I have eyeliners. Would you love, like a free eyeliner or free mascara? Or actually, my lipstick sales are pretty flat because nobody's buying lipstick. I'll say, hey, for a free lipstick, would you listen? Pick a lipstick, pick a lip gloss. And just allow her to tell you what's going on in her life. Let her dip her foot in the shallow end. You guys, I want to challenge each and every one of you between now and Sunday night when you crawl in bed, that you've all added one team member. Directors included. Whoever hears this call, you've got till Sunday night to add a team member. Me too, myself included. So go make it happen because guess what? You can do it. All right, you guys. Have a fabulous Wednesday. Bye.